Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time to take a look at Expedition Zeta Charting the Universe, a game by John Manker. And I'm excited to see how the component looks in this game. It's a big box and I do like space games, so that looks good to me. And let's see here. Draco can hold the box. Like he, he, he's usually good at that. And we'll take a look here. And so we have the um, rule book, pretty thick, and so on. Looks good. Then we have some dials here. All right. We have uh, discovery values. It seems like I'm opening it from the wrong side. Here we have, I guess, maybe player boards. Looks kind of like playboard, um, like this. You can put cards and so on. You have crew members. I guess these are sort of damaged. You have slightly worn, substantially worn, worn out beyond repair. And okay. Let's keep going here with the, um, oh, this is cool. This is of course from a Swedish designer. So I'm happy to see that Sweden is in the space race <laughs> as well, together with a bunch of other countries. And here's some planets and so on. And some, well, this is, is this the, um, well, whatever. And <laughs> let's just keep going here with more of the same, I think. But here we have some, maybe these are the planets and some of these are like, I don't know, like uh, moons and asteroids and whatnot. And yeah, so that's a bunch of punching out to do later on, but let's first take a look at this board here this is the preparation grid so let's see top row okay so we have different cost we have a draw pile probably gonna put out cards here of course we have a bunch of small cards like this here's some sweets obviously and then let's continue here with the box with the uh, well sleeves in, in the box that's cool you don't see that every day then we have some plastic figures here. I'm always interested to see how those look. So this is some kind of space station, I guess. And this as well. Now these look really nice. Here's a little spaceship and another spaceship. And Hmm, okay, we're supposed to construct something here with uh, This looks cool Looks like something from Star Wars almost and we're supposed to construct something here with these thingies and we do have the large uh, Space station here, I guess and you can put I guess we can put these on here. I'm Usually not that good at this kind of stuff, but perhaps something like that. We'll figure that out later on And yeah, we have like a a uh, little standy thingy here as well for the ship somehow <laughs> okay then we have some dice they look nice different colors and yeah good feel to them here's some tokens with different symbols on them so and I like that it's plastic tokens, it's not cardboard, so that's good. That's a plus. And we have some, what's it called, crystals basically. We have these in different color, they look awesome. I love when games use these kinds of crystals. And here's some larger ones. Oh, now this looks really nice. So uh, maybe these are the same, but in like a higher uh, number count. And for the dials, I guess, these thingies and some two bags. So we're gonna pull some stuff from a bag. Here's some baggies as well, which is awesome when the publisher put that in the box. And then we have all these cards, so let's take a look at those as well. So I open up the cards here and we have the sweets. Let's start with those. So Dr. Corbori. Once per system, you may double the amount of dice your team uses in a discovery attempt. Can be used while helping another player. 
And yes, yeah, so we have all these different countries are out in space, obviously. I guess they all have like special abilities. Here's some uh, play rates, which is nice. Love when they have this, so it's easy to find. You don't have to go through the rule book all the time. And the turn. Your spaceship has a tractor beam. Maybe it's sort of upgrades or something, or like I think these no, these are the different ships that we have in the, the mini. So I guess these are special abilities that the ships have. Here's some events with danger and so on. An artifact. Okay. It's always like I do these unboxings. I don't really know what I'm looking at, but it's fun. Some adaptive living warp crystals. That sounds cool. And nanobots a bunch of these then we have some under repair okay over here we have some card for hmm not really sure what these are and yeah a lot of, of numbers and colors and all that will make sense once I learn how to play the game. And then we have bacteria-like proof. So there's like some alien life maybe. Viral specimen. Unexplainable microbe specimen. I like this stuff. Humanoid bodily remains. <laughs> so definitely an alien there. And yeah, so we have the sort of, yeah, this is probably like the alien deck or something. And we have some people here. Maybe it's, I guess it's the crew guys that we can get on the crew. So, and they have like Erna here is an Exostar analyst. She has some symbols as well. So she, she's probably good at certain things and so on. Or can help you out in certain ways. Leo uh, is the extra product engineer. Kind of looks like uh, a guy I know that's named Leo that is working for this company. That's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Here's Alex, Exo Professor. Cool stuff, okay. So then we have, finally, these cards. Preparation cards. Movement, action, warp. And here's some crew, two member crew card with equipment. And here's different planets, of course, as well. Planets on orbit. Well, this looks really nice. I think the design of this game looks awesome. I am really excited to try it out and learn how to play it with all these cool crystals. And then I'll be back with a gameplay run through together with Draco in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this Expedition Setup unboxing. And have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.